So what is the number one recommended supplement for balding? Salt palmetto extract from Jaro Formulas. It's reasonably priced, about $8. Um, get 60 soft gels, so it'll last you, you know, a month, taking two a day. Um, I like this because it's the super critical CO2 extract. You're getting 85 to 95 percent fatty acids and sterols, and you're getting a mixed phytosterols with 40 milligrams of that coming from beta testosterol. Now, some of the studies that were done using um, supplemental were also combined with beta testosterol. And that showed the most um, benefit as far as your hair loss is concerned. And the other one we have is Now Stinging Nettle Root Extract from Now Foods. So I recommend taking two of these a day and two of these a day. Basically what those will do will help to inhibit this enzyme 5 alpha reductase, which will kind of help to normalize or lower some of the DHT levels um, because you're hair follicles are going to be a lot more sensitive to THT and the reason that is because you'll be genetically um, you basically are genetically um, more sensitive to the effects of DHT on hair follicles because it's a genetic tendency that you have or inherited. So um, I was thinking of something today and actually yesterday and that is that um, it has to do with dairy and how dairy has precursors to DHT. Now, a lot of people have thought that if they avoided dairy, that therefore their levels of DHT would become lower and thus, you know, they would keep their hair. But yet we know that even vegans, fruitarians, or anybody else that avoids dairy, <laughs> um, can and often do go bald. So it's not as simple as just avoiding a particular food and believing that it will save your hair. Because even if you take saw palmetto and metal root extract or even the drug Propecia, you're not guaranteed to keep your hair for the rest of your life. If you are, if that is in your genetics, the best you can do is to slow that process down. But it's pretty much inevitable to stop that process unless science somehow finds a way to alter those genetics or somehow cure it. Um, so the thing is, and this was what I was thinking, is that can you still get the benefits from taking salt palmetto if you're drinking raw dairy? And I do believe that the answer is yes, you can still get benefits because we know that from clinical trials and studies that were done with people using taking Propecia, not out of 10 people showed improvement with their hair. Okay, so it's basically slowing the hair loss down. It doesn't necessarily make your hair thicker. It just prevents the miniaturization of your hair follicles. So whatever hair you do have, you can basically slow that process down and, and kind of maintain it. Um, how long? I don't know. I mean, person's different. <laughs> so, but I do know that people that take the Propecia are drinking dairy and eating just regular diet. They do nothing else but take Propecia and it has an effect on their hair. Now, I have seen studies showing that supplemental metal is more effective than Propecia at inhibiting type 1 and type 2 5-alpha reductase. Um, and I put that video up before, so I would assume that even if you're drinking raw dairy, um, it's not going to have this huge impact on your hair where it's going to cause all your hair to fall out because we know that, gee, people that take Propecia are drinking dairy but they're still having benefits on their hair. So I'm sure that if by taking salt palmetto and if you're drinking raw dairy, I wouldn't worry so much about the raw dairy exasperating or increasing male pattern baldness because otherwise we would see that in people that um, are taking Propecia and that's not one of their things that they're telling people to do is you know, they don't say, avoid dairy, avoid meat, avoid food X, Y, and Z, and take Propecia. They're simply saying, take Propecia and don't change anything else about your lifestyle. But my theory goes that if you're taking salt palmetto, which pretty much acts a lot of the same ways that Propecia does without the side effects, and you're taking nettle root extract and you're building up this army, 
Um, and you're changing your lifestyle that's healthier, okay, so you're getting more nutrients to help support hair growth, and you're using natural things on your hair, then, in my opinion, going the natural route for um, trying to fight this hair loss or baldness, you're going to have a lot better success and a lot more results. So, and I think it's true, so, at least that's my theory, so, should you be concerned about drinking dairy and worrying that it's going to increase your hair loss? Um, no, I wouldn't be so concerned about that because it wouldn't make sense. So, um, hopefully, you know, if you've ever thought about that or was it was running through your head or you were worrying about drinking raw dairy because you know that raw dairy has some health benefits, you know, it's good for your teeth, but at the same side, it's hoping you don't want, you want to make sure that it's not causing your hair to fall out. Um, I don't think that it would be. So, as long as you're taking something like this, you know, and you're eating a healthy diet, I don't see how it's going to affect your DHT levels that much, so. Uh, hopefully this has been an educational video, so if you like this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.